Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Rachel and today we have a Princess Polly haul to show you. And let's just say, it's not a little one. This box arrived at my door yesterday, full of things. And I'm gonna show you those things today. <laughs> a huge thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring today's video. Last time I filmed a haul, I did it like first impression style and a lot of you commented saying you liked that style of filming way better. So today I have this huge pile of clothes to show you, but I haven't tried a single thing on yet. So I don't know how they're gonna fit and you guys will see my first impression of each piece with me. And of course I have a discount code for you as always. So if you like anything that you see in this haul or anything else on the Princess Polly website, you can use a code love Rach 20 for 20% off and I will make sure that the Princess Polly website is linked down below as well as all the items that I show you today and all the sizes that I got because I always get questions about that. I'm usually a 6 on top, a 6 to an 8 in bottoms and I'm 5 foot 2 for reference if that helps you out at all. But now that I've explained all that, let's get into showing you guys everything I got. I think I want to start off with a fun one. So this is a little top and skirt actually, very long skirt. So it's like a midi skirt, probably maxi on me because I'm so short but I feel like this will be so nice to wear on a night out when it's a little bit cooler because it is cooling down here in Brisbane as we go into winter of course and I feel like I never know what to wear on a night out in winter because I just don't own a lot of like nice winter going out outfits so I thought this would be fun but I have no idea how it's gonna look so let's try this on and I'll show you guys. I like this a lot more than I thought I would actually. I feel like it looks so classy and so fancy. Doesn't this look so nice? I love how long the skirt is and it also doesn't have a split in the thigh, which is really nice because you don't always want that. And all of my other longer skirts that are kind of this sort of style do have a split. I feel like this is nice enough that I could wear it to like a wedding or something. Like it is just quite, quite fancy looking. I also put on some little heels and I did actually get a bag that would probably go really well with this outfit. Here it is, just one of the classic little shoulder bags. I have one of these in like a nude color, but I've been really wanting one in white and I kind of love it. I also picked up one of these little card holders because since I really like to change bags depending on my outfit when I go out. It's so much easier to put all of my important cards in one of these and then just transfer this between the bags rather than having to go through my whole bag and like pick out the things I need and probably forget something important. And these even match, so that's really cute. I think paired with a cute little leather jacket or something, this would be a really nice going out outfit for the winter. Definitely a big fan of this one. We like, we like. The next outfit I'm gonna try on is this little skirt, which is so cute. I've seen a few people wearing this one lately and I'm honestly obsessed. It's like a flannelly kind of material. So again, a really nice wintry piece. And I also got a new white sweater, which again, just perfect for winter. I've been stocking up on some more staples because I kind of hate my whole winter wardrobe and so I want to build it up again and I think these two pieces together could look really cute so let's see what we think it's cute right cute cute I'm usually a six to an eight in bottoms and I never know whether to go for a six or an eight. This skirt is a six and it does fit me perfectly, but I feel like I almost could have gone for an eight just to be a little bit more comfortable. And it is quite short. I personally think it's very cute, but just keep that in mind, especially if you are a taller gal. But it is so soft and comfy, very clueless vibes, I feel like. And I feel like the sweater is just a staple. I do have this sweater in like a mauvey pink kind of color and I wore it so much last winter. So I definitely wanted to get a plain white one. I just love the balloon sleeves and again, just such a staple. I feel like you can pair this with so many things and it would just look so good. Now looking at the outfit all together, I don't know if I would pair these items together. I don't hate it. I just don't think it's like the best outfit I can put together, but definitely a huge fan of these items individually. I do have another sweater that might look cute with this outfit. Like I mentioned, I'm kind of just updating my winter wardrobe and this is like the softest sweater I have ever felt. It's just this beautiful like camely tan kind of color i think they do also have this one in cream but i don't think they had my size at the time but it is so beautiful i want it in every color i mean i haven't even tried it on yet let's try it on with the skirt i don't know if it's like again a perfect match but i think it could look cute so let's try this on and we'll see what we think i want this sweater in every color literally every single one and that can be my whole winter wardrobe this is so soft and so cozy. I feel like I'm wrapped in the blanket of my dreams right now. This is so soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Feel it through the camera. This is it not tucked in. So I feel like it's a really perfect length. I like how the sleeves are a little bit balloony, but not too balloony, but still cinch in at the cuffs. And I feel like it does, it does kind of go with the skirt, right? Kinda? What do we think with the bag? A look? Maybe? Maybe? 
Maybe not. Maybe? I really don't want to take it off. I really like it. Definitely my favorite item of the haul so far. Moving on to the next item, I got some jeans and to be honest I'm really nervous about these. I've been looking for new jeans for a little while and I just haven't been able to find any that fit me very well. If they fit my legs they're too big around my waist but if they would fit my waist I can't even get them past my butt so I've been struggling. I would really just love a pair of jeans that I don't have to wear a belt with but apparently it's a lot harder than it seems. So I'm gonna try these ones. I am very skeptical. I did keep the packaging in case I have to send them back because to be honest, Princess Polly's return policy is so easy. I've just been looking for a pair of jeans that I can wear every day. So just kind of like a classic blue denim. They're not like huge and baggy, but they're not skinny jeans. I'm sure they'll be a bit too long because I am so short, but because they already have a frayed edge, I could always just cut them again myself if I want to or just cuff them at the end. But we'll see, I'm, I'm a bit worried. Guys. Look, look at this fit. Look, look at this fit. Like there is a little bit of room, but that's just so I can actually sit down without busting my jeans open. Uh, what? Why was it this easy? Why have I been looking for so long when the perfect pair was there all along? I'm not kidding when I say I've been in store so many times to try and find jeans like this, and I ordered one pair from Princess Polly and they fit perfect. I'm so confused. <laughs> I did get a size 8 in these ones and I'm so glad I did because obviously they just fit perfect. I do think I might either cut them or cuff them just because they are a little bit too long for my liking. But like I said, I'm really short so that is just, that's just a common thing for me in jeans. I kept the tags on in case I have to send them back but these are not going back. I am so happy. Watch me wear these two pieces every day for the next three months. Alright, moving on. I have some shirts. First one, literally cutest thing ever. Definitely not a wintry piece, but I'll layer it. It's fine. <laughs> this is what it looks like. How stinking cute is this? I love the color blocking. I love the exposed seam. Very trendy. Favorite color right now. Let's try it on. Um, fun. I love this little thing and I like how my necklace like pokes through pretty much perfectly. 10 out of 10. Perfect length too. Honestly, can't fault it. The next top we have is this one. How am I gonna wear this, you ask? I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. It's one of those tops that you're supposed to be able to tie like a bazillion different ways. It's such a beautiful print and the girl online looked absolutely stunning in it. And I was like, yeah, I could totally do that. And now I see it, I'm like, how? How does this become a shirt? I'm gonna have a crack. I might have to look up a YouTube tutorial, but I'm gonna have a go. Okay, so I decided to put on a little white tank and I thought we could try this together. I just didn't wanna expose myself too much by not having anything underneath, so just pretend. Just pretend I'm not wearing a little white tank. But I just tied two corners together and I wanna make this into a little little tie top with like a cowl neck. That's like the, I'm just like twisting the back piece. I don't know if this is gonna look good. This is literally just me experimenting, by the way. So this is not a tutorial. I'm not a professional. Do not try this at home unless it works. Mm, nah, not my favorite. I can't really tie it any looser than that. It's not awful, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's try something different. It looks really nice from the back though. Imagine that, just like bare back. Super nice. Maybe I should actually look this up instead of just winging it. Oh, now I can't get it undone. Okay, so first top is just like this. Really cute, but a little bit too simple. Make the scarf diagonally again and then double knot it knot. Then tuck the excess in. <laughs> I look like... Is it a Greek god? I don't know. That's kind of cute. A little like one-shouldered situation. I really don't know what I'm doing. She's going so fast in this video. Oh no. Took all the remaining fabric and I Okay, so she folded it like this. Get around her back with like this. And then she just, oh, oh. She literally like tied it up here. Oh. That's kind of cute. This is what the back looks like. Obviously, I probably didn't do it perfectly, but that could be cute. You might have to like tape it down. Well, I would personally. So this is what it looks like without the top underneath. I think this is so cute. I'm gonna stop tying it all those different ways because <laughs> I could be here all day. There are so many different ways to tie it and it kind of takes a bit longer than I expected to get the hang of it. But once you have the hang of it, I think it's fun. You can't tell me this isn't cute. And the back is really cute too. 
I love an open back. We're gonna move on from this whole scarf fiasco. And I have one last top to show you. It looks like a plain black sleeve like this, but I'll try it on and show you what it looks like because it does have a little bit more detail to it. This is it. I feel like you can't see all the detail on the camera. I don't know if you can tell, but it has like panels that are crossing over the front. It's definitely a very simple piece, but I feel like a beautiful staple that's a little bit different from the average long sleeve shirt. I would definitely wear this on a night out. Again, I don't have a lot of like nice going out winter clothes. And I feel like even this, this with some black heels could be a cute outfit or even just another pair of jeans or a skirt. I did size up in this one because I feel like sometimes long sleeve shirts can be a little bit restricting if they're tight fitting. For me personally, I just feel a little bit claustrophobic in them sometimes. So I do like to size up, but obviously just do whatever you want to do. I still think it fits me really well, but I did fold the sleeves up because they are really long on me. So I just folded them back once so they look like this instead of this. And I feel like I like the folded look a little bit better than like bunching it up. But again, you do you. You might I have longer arms than me but this is definitely like a 10 out of 10 for me I really really like this one lastly I have three jackets slash jumpers to show you again just stocking up for winter and I'm really excited about these first we have this huge <laughs> zip up jumper i got this one in gray but it does come in i think two other colors it comes in like a chocolate brown which i was really tossing up between that and the gray and another color maybe black i can't really remember oh my gosh this is the perfect i'm chilling at home but i suddenly want chocolate so now i'm gonna run to the grocery store kind of jacket i feel like you could literally wear this anywhere it is definitely not like a going out kind of jumper but it is a very like cozy at home slash hanging out with friends like low-key kind of jumper and I love it. Like I said, I got the size 8, so you definitely don't need to like size up for it to be oversized. I think it's just genuinely designed like that. But maybe I might have to get the brown as well because this is this is really cozy. Next. Ah! How cute is this? Honestly, incredible quality. This looks stunning and it's in green, which I love. Favorite color at the moment. I got this one in a size 10, so I did size up one size. When I'm choosing sizes, I always just see what the model is wearing and just say the model is a size 8 and she's wearing a size 8 but it looks oversized on her obviously it's designed as an oversized fit but if she's wearing a 12 and it looks oversized then I'll size up as well oh yeah this is cute tuck it in a little bit at the front so cute and cozy I love this love the big sleeves I love a good crew neck let's hope I don't get any stains on this one and lastly I got myself a puffer jacket I wanted one of these all last winter but they were pretty much sold out every time I went to get one online so this year I thought I'd get in early they have so many in stock right now and they have so many different like variations and a few different colors too so if you want like a colored puffer jacket or a tan or a beige they have a lot of options I think I got a size 10 in this one too so I could wear it over jackets I feel like I'm wearing so many layers right now, but this is exactly what I wanted. Oh, and the pockets. It's a 10 out of 10. It's kind of like almost a corduroy material, but they do have like waterproofy feeling ones on the website as well. If you're after more of that kind of feel, I feel so crazy right now. I feel like a big marshmallow. Oh, okay, time to peel off all these layers. But those are all the items that I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed watching this haul. I had so much fun filming it. When I film first impressions, I feel like I'm just like FaceTiming one of my friends and showing them all of my new clothes that I just got. So I hope it feels like that for you guys as well. If you saw anything that you might want to purchase for yourself or if you just want to get anything else from the Princess Polly website, make sure you use my code, which is just loverage20 for 20% off so you can save yourself a little bit of money. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you again to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. It is so fun working with them. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.